Alleluia, Alleluia. The great prophet has appeared among us. God has visited his people. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported that he was at home. So many gathered around that there was no longer room for them, not even in front of the door, and he was speaking the word to them. Then some people came, bringing to him a man who was paralyzed, carried by four of them. And when they could not bring him to Jesus because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and after having dug through it, they let down the mat on which the paralytic lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the man who was paralyzed, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this fellow speak in this way? It is blasphemy. Who can forgive sins but God alone? At once, Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were discussing these questions among themselves. And he said to them, Why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the one who has paralyzed, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and take your mat and walk? But so that you may know, that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the man who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up, take your mat, and go to your home. And the man stood up, and immediately took the mat, and went out before all of them, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. So in our spiritual life, uh, we need uh, to have uh, the balance uh, between uh, work and rest. And we need to have the balance, obviously, uh, between good deeds that we're called to do, uh, and then uh, prayer. And so we could say contemplation and action. And today, in this uh, reading from Hebrews, the first reading that we heard, um, there is a few lines that I want, want to highlight. And before I do that, uh, just uh, I was uh, praying this morning and following the advice of a bishop that I met earlier in my priesthood, who really told me that uh, when I do pray personally, it should not be work-related as much as possible. And so there are some times that, uh, sure, we can use our personal prayer to prepare a homily, for example, in my case. But he said, may your personal prayer be personal, not uh, business-oriented. And so uh, I think I'm the only priest here today, so um, you can take that to your own context and see. Um, but uh, the Lord wants, obviously, a personal relationship with us. And so I think this is a good advice that uh, this uh, bishop uh, was giving me. And I won't enter into all the details, but in my spiritual journal today, uh, what I wrote uh, was, Come to me, all your labor and our burden, and I will give you rest. And I did that actually before reading uh, the readings of the day. And so I, I tried to incorporate uh, this advice. And then obviously the readings of the day are a big confirmation for me of what the Lord was trying to tell me. Uh, personally. So I guess uh, this means that this thought was not from me, but from the Holy Spirit. And so many times I'm distracted and I'm making my own thoughts, but I believe that this one was really uh, from God. And what I would like to share with you today, uh, just repeating some of the words, Beloved, while the promise of entering God's rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. 
And this we can tie possibly with the gospel where uh, those four men brought the one who was not able to go uh, to Jesus. And so that we need to pray for each other, encourage each other that we might go to Jesus. Uh, and so let us do that. And obviously when we hear about rest in this context, maybe uh, it's more about the eternal rest. And so we pray for the repose of the souls and for our own eternal rest when the Lord calls us home. Uh, but the reading continues, and I think it speaks also about some other kinds of rest, and uh, this is a rest uh, for here honored. And so it said, For we who have believed enter that rest. And so we need to ask for the Holy Spirit to give us faith. We can pray to Mother Mary to intercede for us so that we might have faith, so that we might uh, have the rest that the Lord wants to give us. I'm repeating often, uh, the peace that only the Lord can give. And when I'm repeating that, uh, I'm repeating that to myself. And so this rest is available. This peace is available, not only when we rest in peace forever, but here on earth as well. And then it continues. It speaks about the seventh day as follows. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And if we pause there, um, for us, sometimes uh, we think that we're not that tired so that we don't need to rest. So just uh, this is a kind of rhetorical question, but was God tired after the six days of uh, creating everything? Obviously not. God uh, decided to rest. He made that decision. And this is to show us uh, the example of it as well. And so in our secular world now, unfortunately, uh, the day of rest on Sunday is not as respected. And so let us pray for us to accept uh, what it means in our own life. And then I'll just uh, finish with this uh, last line that we heard today. Let us therefore make every effort to enter that rest. And for me, I find it very paradoxical. It talks about every effort <laughs> to rest. And so, yes, I think we need to uh, make some effort sometimes to set some time aside uh, so that we can rest uh, with the Lord. And so, in a special way, I'm praying for all of us to have a better discipline. And when we hear about discipline, this is an effort, but a discipline of prayer, where we can answer those words of Jesus, who wants, uh, doesn't mean to necessarily fall asleep in prayer, but St. Therese of the child Jesus was falling asleep, and the Lord was not mad at her on the opposite. He was comforting her on that. And so, for us, let us ask for that grace of rest and that we might um, apply that in our lives here and now until we rest in peace. And the Lord wants to continue to repeat, as he told me uh, this morning, to all of us, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Amen.